Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back to Stretford Paddock. Hope you guys are all doing well. I am obviously Adam McCola here with more reaction to Manchester United's defeat against Atletico Madrid. Now, we did have um, Jay over there at the game in Norway. So check out our socials over on the Instagram and, of course, on our Twitter as well as we posted a bit from the game. Manchester United coming to their first defeat under Eric Ten Hag in his pre-season campaign. We were undefeated with three wins and a draw coming into this one. Obviously, this is our first defeat. And despite it being our first defeat, I actually think there were a lot of positives to come from today's game. There were also a few warnings ahead of the new season as well. And while the transfer window's open, warnings that we can hopefully resolve and listen to and get the problem sorted out for Eric Ten Hag in this transfer window because there were a few warnings in this game today of areas that we need to improve in but there were a lot of positives as well and we'll get stuck into them. Before we do, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, you're liking, commenting, and sharing. United have another game in pre-season as well. One final game against Real Vallecano at Old Trafford tomorrow. Cristiano Ronaldo expected to return but I'm not expecting we'll see a lot of the players that started today so this was probably kind of a our last pre-season game for our main 11 that will take the field against Brighton um, next week at Old Trafford in the Premier League opener for us. So, you know, it was our last opportunity really to impress for many of these players because you wouldn't expect them to start two games in two days, although stranger things have happened and maybe one or two of them will be involved. Uh, we'll be at that game against Real Vallecano as well. Myself and Steve will be there. So make sure you're checking, it out, checking us out for loads of content, um, checking out the Instagram, the Twitter, and of course, coming here for reaction and stuff from Old Trafford. But let's get stuck into our review for that game. Terrell Malassia was someone that impressed me today. Um, and he's got us asking the question, will he be starting the game um, for Manchester United um, against Brighton? Because Luke Shaw was uh, unavailable today due to illness. Whether he's going to be involved in that game against Vallecano remains to be seen. Um, but Malassia's started a few games in pre-season. He's impressed. He's played a lot of minutes. He's got a lot, another... You know, healthy amount of minutes under his belt today, uh, yet again, and he's impressing with his football. There's one pass today, uh, in particular for Anthony Martial. Martial probably should have scored from. Um, that was absolutely fantastic. The run was great for Martial, and the endeavour to get the shot away. The finish should have been better, but the pass from Malassia was incredible, um, and it got the player away, and it got the the player interested in making a run. You know what I mean? So, great pass from him, and some other impressive bits of play from him as well. And it's got me thinking likely to start in that game against Brighton and providing the challenge there to Luke Shaw already immediately. Um, we saw Lindelof and Maguire at the back at the heart of the defence. Maguire on that right-hand side and Alessandro Martinez was in the squad today. Um, will he start the game um, tomorrow against Real Vallecano as he didn't start today? Who knows? Um, but Alessandro Martinez being there, you'd expect him to come in on the left. Harry Maguire's been playing on the right. I thought defensively Harry Maguire was pretty good with a few good blocks. Uh, today, there were a few occasions where he took the ball out upfield, lost the ball, and then committed fouls. Um, and I don't think Ten Hag would be happy with that. But defensively, he's looked a lot more assured in this preseason. We need him to improve and play the way Ten Hag wants him to play. And that's why you'd expect the likes of Varane, if he'll complete 90 minutes um, against Real Vallecano, to possibly challenge for his spot. But it looks like it will be Lissandro Martinez and Maguire maybe starting against Brighton. Let us know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Um, unless he sticks with Lindelof due to the fitness of Martinez um, or Varane could come in. But you do feel like if you bring Lissandro Martinez in, he's probably going to be you know, your starting centre-back. So who's going to start alongside him? Um, you know, On paper, you'd go Varane. But in pre-season so far, we've seen a lot more from Maguire. So remains to be seen who the boss will go with there. At right back, Diogo Delo, he looked like he missed Jadon Sancho today. Them two have, have made a made a partnership going forward. Um, and, you know, uh, they've looked pretty good in pre-season. He would have missed him today having that relationship that they've built it up. United miss Jadon Sancho when he's not there. And that's one of the warning shots for Manchester United. We're lacking depth seriously up top. Even if you had Cristiano Ronaldo to the mix. Martial went down today. He got substituted shortly after on around the 70th minute mark. You're hoping that's nothing more than a dead leg or a little nut um, because United need Anthony Martial. Outside of Martial, Rashford, Sancho, um, if Cristiano Ronaldo stays, you've obviously got an experienced, valuable member of the squad there in Cristiano Ronaldo. But outside of that, Ilanga could possibly do with a loan. Facundo Palistri is probably going to end up out on loan. We're lacking real quality in those wide areas and through the middle. And Manchester United, we've been linked with the likes of Sesko and Anthony. 
we do need to strengthen and I think that was another warning sign there today when Martial goes down injured and when Jaden Sancho is unavailable due to illness. Um, illness that was called on the morning of the game so he was out there with the squad um, and I expected to start today's game but he was ill now hopefully he'll be you know, finding a day or two and he'll be available for that game against Brighton um, but you don't want to hear that and you don't want to see Anthony Martial going down either. United need to strengthen in those areas. And in the midfield area today, I thought Bruno, he was a bit wasteful at times today, particularly in the first half. There were good moments from him as well. We know what Bruno Fernandes is like though. He needs to tighten it up a little bit if he wants to continue to succeed at United under Eric Ten Hag. But we know Bruno will get goals and assists. I don't think Bruno's a worry for me. Fred, I thought he was very good, got sent off today. Probably deserved second yellow card, but the referee was picking his times when to be harsh and when not to be and you know booking players when they when maybe could have got away with one and and not booking players when they maybe should have been booked atletico madrid were at it today it was the most unfriendly friendly of all time um they really did go in but the kind of test united need ahead of the premier league campaign starting and i thought fred showed today that he can be a valuable member of the squad under eric ten Hag. he's probably going to be starting that game but we need more quality in there christian erickson coming off the bench he showed in a matter of seconds the, the levels of diff, the, the levels of quality between him and some of the midfielders we have. And when he's bringing the ball down out of the air and just passing it along, simple things for him, but he just makes it look so easy and it makes a stark difference to some of the things that we have in our midfield. I would I would like to see us possibly go if Ericsson can start a game, go Ericsson, Fred, and Bruno against Brighton. Now maybe you couldn't do that against more stronger attacking teams. Um, and maybe you couldn't do that away from home as much. And we need that midfielder in there. That's why you can see us going in for Frankie de Jong. And Ten Hag really being intent on getting Frankie de Jong. But if we don't get him, we need to bring in midfielders. We need maybe one or two. You know, because I thought McTominay got involved and he got stuck in a lot in the first half. And it was good to see him scrapping with the Atletico Madrid players. But we need more the quality than that starting in our midfield. Um, and it's clear to see again today, I think. Um, there were good things though for Manchester United. Some of the link-up play was really good. Some of our attacking moves were really good. We're clearly a team that has, you know, a plan, has an idea of how they want to play. Some of the aggressiveness from the likes of Anthony Martial in his press, he looked lively as well in the first half. I thought should have capped it with a goal, and you want to see him taking his chances. But I thought his all-round performance was pretty good. You're waiting for Marcus Rashford to catch fire at the moment, and hopefully Eric Ten Hag can bring that out of him. Um, but like I say. There were a lot of good things to see from Man United. Ericsson bringing in quality when he's coming in. Um, a lot of good things to see, but clear areas where we need to improve as well. Um, and Manchester United need to sort those things out, hopefully, in the remainder of the transfer window. A lot of positives, though. And I thought, despite the defeat today, today was probably, you know, maybe the first 60 minutes were probably our best performance of the pre-season. A lot of these players playing 90 minutes for the first time, etc., um, and obviously we're up against a solid opponent, um, but a lot of positives to take, a few warning shots, but fingers crossed we can take those positives into the start of the season, continue improving and add a few more players to the mix as well. Um, but yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments below what you made of today's game. I thought Taran Malassia, probably my man of the match, possibly, but Ericsson, come on, and he just oozed quality. Absolutely oozes class when, when he's on the ball. And it shows you how kind of we started that kind of control in possession. Um, and I think Fred Eriksson Bruno against Brighton. I wouldn't mind seeing that, you know. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow with the game at uh, Real Vallecano. Um, and I'm sure we'll have plenty more on the way as well with the news and things. So we'll see you later.